Ooh. So, streaming can introduce a lot of issues when it comes to audio routing. You might have a couple of different headsets as well as an audio interface as well as speakers that you may want certain things routed to certain ways and always the fix uh, in the old days was to use voice meter banana or something like that or maybe have everything routed through an interface something like the go xlr well a while back windows or microsoft rather introduced an update that overhauled the way that you can route audio right inside windows so today we're going to be checking that out. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. So if you're new around here and you're into tech, hardware, PC builds and tutorials and anything like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, I stream every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific on Twitch. Link will be down in the description below. Anyways, let's get to it. So as I said in the intro, audio routing for streamers can be a pain depending on how you have your configuration set up. I like to approach things in a simpler way. However, when things get out of hand, when you have all sorts of sources and you're trying to do all sorts of crazy stuff, yeah, it could really get complicated. Fortunately, Microsoft has made that easier with the built-in audio mixer in Windows. Now, the audio mixer was introduced a while back. However, advanced audio routing, sending things to different uh, let's see audio outputs that you might have in your system that is a relatively new development so we're going to go over that and show you guys what that's all about if you don't see it if you go through this tutorial and you don't really see the, the same options just run windows updates get your system caught up or uh, you could also google the windows uh, update assistance and that will bring your computer to the newest windows update as well anyways let's get to the desktop so i can show you guys this and here we are at my desktop setup on my streaming setup. So you see all my overlays and stuff that I use in our weekly streams every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific. Anyway, so you see my desktop here and all you really need to do is search sound settings. So sound settings, there it is. Boom. Now you see this screen and this might be something that you're used to seeing. But if you scroll down, you see advanced sound options. You can click that and you you're presented with this now if you're used to the windows sound mixer which you may see by going down and right clicking on the speaker clicking it open volume mixer you get this and this has been useful in the past for sure and the adjustments you make here will reflect over here as well but you don't get this output and input uh, on the windows sound mixer that's down at the bottom you only see that here so you can control your master output and your master input my headset is my main master output and that's what's set there and my input was my mixer my sound blaster k3 plus and that's what's set there however individual applications that you happen to be that happen to be open already like google chrome for example is something that you can definitely send somewhere else. Now, system sounds is also something you can send out. So if your system has a lot of notification sounds while you're streaming or recording or anything like that, and you don't want those coming through on your stream, well, you can route them to a different audio device. Now, uh, looks like here you're, you're stuck with default. So fortunately, you know, maybe that'll be different for you guys. However, we're gonna demonstrate like Google Chrome, for example. So I'm gonna pull up a stream real quick. And this is my friend, Christopher Yee. You can see this is this is making noise right okay so i'll mute that but anyways see google chrome is here and output i have all these output devices now i can send it to my headset specifically i can send it to the speakers of my monitor i can send it to any other outputs here like i have my regular speakers now my speakers are turned on right now so if i send it to speakers two right there and unmute it Maybe the microphone is picking that up, right? That's the speakers. And so then I can just go to set that back to default. So you can send this anywhere you want, even through your graphics card, NVIDIA high definition audio, since I have an HDMI connection to my uh, TV slash monitor that I use up above, I can send it to that as well. So if I wanted, let's say stream alerts from OBS to go to a different output, I can put that to the TV and that is what will make noise or my speakers or the monitor or any device here, which is super awesome. And as you know, um, Google Chrome, if you're streaming using a browser or anything like that, you can also define an input. And so you can have Google Chrome be a different microphone specifically through here in Windows by selecting the input. 
and you also have input choices on the other ones here so anything that you happen to have running will show up here if you didn't have chrome open this would fall off if you didn't have obs running it would fall off here so uh, make sure that whatever you want to adjust you open it first and then you can manage where the audio goes this level of audio routing built into windows to send wherever you want is actually super super useful and we're back so this might have been a quick video but it's going to prove very helpful if you needed any help doing audio routing for your single pc streams and this could also be useful in a two pc stream setup depending on which computer you're using for the routing but this is a really awesome thing that uh, has been around in windows now for a little while and again if you don't see it available in your windows 10 not windows 7 i'm pretty sure this is windows 10 only then just run the windows updates i'll be linking some more information on this down in the description below so if you needed to read through how to do this or needed a bit more of a tutorial on it, then make sure you check out the links down in the description below. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe. We always got more coming. I've been your stream technician for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, but first, make sure you follow over on our Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. We stream every Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific, as I previously said. And uh, make sure you follow over on our Facebook. All links and stuff will be down in the description below. That's uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys. Bye.